Hey guys, this is going to be a review of my Victorinox Spirit Plus. Um, I purchased this probably about a year and a half ago, if not more. Oh, actually, yeah, it's coming up on two years now. Um, and I've enjoyed this this uh, multi-tool very much. It is, uh, it's, it's, in, it's considered the mid-range, but um, I think this will do just about any job any other multi-tool will do uh, weighing in about uh, I don't know about seven and a half ounces it's I've known people who carry knives bigger than that you know it's versatile um, I'll get into the Swiss tool first let's just go with the sheath or the carry case I modded for um, for the for this flashlight carrier right here it's an old mag light uh, carry case I just sewed it to to this Victorinox case and um, duct taped it with Gorilla Tape that stuff works great uh, I have a little lanyard slash necklace thing that I carry my D10 on and it has a quick detach so you know that works out pretty good and uh, I usually this is usually just a spare knife that I have with it I almost always will have a pocket knife in my in my uh, pocket but I carry this uh, because of the blade in here and I'll get to that in a minute um, but yeah this is a good backup knife because it's not a very perfect knife to carry and and when you lose your your uh, main carry and you're using this uh, you know it, it's adequate but you're 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 wanting more so um, you end up getting a new knife before you lose this one <laughs> I've probably had this knife longer than any other but I've carried it here and there um, it's thin enough and it's light enough it's just uh, slow I, uh, it's too slow for me but uh, it's a good backup knife um, the case some extra tools come in it come with it in it uh, they also have a ratchet where the extension would come into the ratchet right here instead I, I opted for the solid piece uh, smaller ratchets tend to break real small ratchets so I thought this might be a little bit uh, you know sturdier for uh, longevity but who really knows I, I I don't know how they built it. They could have uh, outsmarted a lot of people. You know, I've seen a lot of little ratchets break. You know, I haven't seen them last very long. But um, it does have a lifetime warranty. That's one good thing about Victorinox lifetime warranty. How could you beat that? You know, if they can. They're really standing by their product, and I heard they have very good customer service. But uh, yeah, put any tools you want. They're, these are full size. Um, come in handy. Uh, leave them at home if they're too heavy and uh, maybe put your pocket knife in here or something and I, I've done that before too and uh, also comes with the corkscrew which uh, I don't know if I'll ever use but uh, inside the corkscrew they have this nifty little jeweler's screwdriver which uh, I've used quite a bit and it comes in handy. Uh, small sights, uh, grips. It's a nice little, nice little uh, screwdriver. Uh, I made this for my D10. It's it's kind of a little bonus in there. Weighs nothing and acts as a dampener. But let's get on to the baby. This thing is beautiful um, Swiss the Swiss spirit um, I can't say enough about this thing there's not a whole lot I would change about it um, all the the finishing I mean I've this is made better than some guns uh, and uh, the you know just the fit and finish the lock up everything's tight on this thing uh, you're really getting a good bargain for this you know for your buck uh, 
you know, you see the red old school um, Victorinox that, you know, they, they have all the tools on the outside. This is very similar, you know, it doesn't look the same, but it has a lot of uses with these, these tools right here. Um, so let's just start going through them uh, one by one. The saw, I've used this, you know, a few times. I, you know, it's 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 very small. If you're looking for a precise, you know, a precise notch in a wood, a piece of wood, this will do it. You could probably go through a good inch log. Uh, if you're building a shelter or something and you don't want any jagged edges or anything. I always carry a saw with me in the woods, but uh, this is actually, for how small it is, it's, it's very it's very good. Now the awl, I use this a lot too. This is like, you know, the knife on here. Let's just do the knife real quick before I do the awl. Because the knife is what turns a lot of people away from this thing and uh, I don't under, I don't understand why uh, unless this is your main carry and and you're not using using a um, you know a pocket knife which I always carry a pocket knife that's my carry um, it's got a sharp tip on it, it you know flat blade on the side this has got the multi blade and it's actually reversed usually you'll see the serrations on the end here and you know, on the, the flat edge right here but uh, they reversed it and it's, you know that actually this this is a good utility knife if you already have your ideal uh, pocket carry knife this you, know, you can spread butter peanut butter you know jelly um, the serrations are on the end so you know if, if you are camping and you went through some wood with your your primary knife and it's dull and you know, steaks coming up uh, this will you know this is a good steak knife um, and and if you have to chisel some wood they actually got the the plain edge right here on the end so you have a little bit more control um, so this 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 knife actually works well with me and um, I'm glad I have it and um, back to the all let's find the all oh we were on the same side okay <clears throat> all right see the all it's got the sharp edge for me uh, you know it's very strong point it's it's meant to be poking into wood and leather and i just twist and i scrape scrape stuff with it all the time um it's a good tool bottle opener uh yeah I, i've used this before corona's uh heineken's uh, not all bottles are twist top and when you want to get you know alcohol in your system you, this tool will help you out on this plane uh it's almost useless i know a trick with a lighter that you can open up bottles i would never reach into my multi-tool unless i was popping a whole bunch at once um but it actually is a you know very large screwdriver and um, it's thick so you can uh, they call it a crate opener um, so you can wedge it and maybe loosen up you know some wood that you're trying to get in between or I don't know um, I've used it to wedge in between things and it works well um, it's thicker than most of the tools so you don't have to worry about it snapping off again they stand by their product lifetime warranty chisel great chisel I've actually uh, chisel you know my name and my wife's name in trees or you know stuff like that I've used these a couple times just to see if they worked and they actually do work they're not the greatest you will scrape off some of the copper wires but um, in a pinch it's better than a knife it actually works better than uh, a razor blade and whatnot went through that knife the chisel or the chisel the file works well. Um, you can use it on wood or metal. Uh, I haven't seen it get damaged or anything, and I've I've taken it across quite a few things before. 
actually even has a metal saw there and that works too um, it's a very handy tool uh, super handy tool a lot of a lot of uses for that can opener it's adequate personally I like the sharp edge on this instead of in the front um, it's just it's just I think the leverage works better for me but who you know it's it uh, varies from person to person which one they like better it has also a screwdriver on the end um, it works well I've opened cans with it before now this is this is a very 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 good tool the Phillips screwdriver um, it's got the longest uh, shank of any other multi tool that I've seen um, and it actually has came in handy quite a few different times I mean look at just look at that reach it has on that thing you can oh sorry about that you can uh, get pretty deep in, in, in just you know and it's thick it's probably as thick as the pry bar they got on here and yeah, that allows you just to push down hard and make sure you don't strip that bolt uh, okay miniature screwdriver it just locks tight in place you can just, just listen to it that's also handy um, it's a small one and uh, you can use it other than just a screwdriver obviously it's a little delicate scissors they're decent scissors they stay sharp um, I've used these on cans and uh, they'll still cut paper pretty well uh, and the, just the the biggest issue is is uh, they don't open up wide enough and uh, I haven't had a problem with that but I've heard uh, people on YouTube complain um, that they use their scissors a lot to cut straws I'm not sure why but um, it doesn't open wide enough so that is a complaint and uh, it, I guess it's a valid complaint for some people but for me uh, scissors work fine and uh, so that leaves us with the badass heads and yes uh, the plier heads they're great I um, I use them quite often and that's the main reason why I have a multi-tool is for the pliers uh, wire snips too um, it could be a little bit more of a needle nose coming to a point but I haven't had any issues with it I have seen other multi tools that come to a more of a finer point at the end, and and I can see you wanting that. If you if you wanted to modify this one, you could you could. I have done this on other uh, just tools in the garage. I needed a finer uh, point on my on my uh, pliers, so I just just grounded that down and it it worked so you could you could do that here too if, if it was too big of an issue and you wanted uh, more of a point but for me I'm just gonna leave as is and they work fine all these tools they lock into place and they swing out individually uh, and they lock individually so uh, oh, sorry again uh, so my hands down favorite multi-tool um, if I were to have to choose a different one it'd be the the Leatherman charge uh, they're they're cheaper versions that are more in this price range they're they're ergonomics they're they're just not there this one is beautiful you have uh, the butterfly look I guess that's what I would say it looks like you know but it's it's the curve it's the curve into your palm of your hand uh, all these corners are nice and smooth and when it when you have it like this you don't have all those tools digging into you like like you do right here so uh, 
highly recommended. Probably not the best review I've done or the best review on the Victorinox, but uh, thank you for watching. Um, look forward to doing some more reviews. Bye.